Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card I used Basket and Blooms and all I did was use the flower pot here. And I also used Forever Blossom and I used the big flower. I also used Waterfront for the splatter dots my favourite dots and I'm going to use which I haven't got out oh yeah I have uh, everything rosy just for the sentiment may your birthday be filled with pretty things in this one I used humming along wishing you an amazing birthday but I had trouble fitting it in I'm going to change the colour I'm going to work with rich raspberry and Blushing Bride and my card is a tent fold card so it's 11 and 3 quarters scored at 5 and 7 eighths and folded in half I have a piece of white cardstock at 5 and 7 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside a piece of Blushing Bride at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters so it's this we're going to be stamping on it's no fussy cutting nothing like that it's just all stamping on a flat card right we need to stamp the flower pot first and you need a mask which I've got here so with my memento black do it this way ink up the flower pot and I'm going to stamp that about there now if you're using photopolymer stamps remember to use your um, stamping mat I've got a great big thick pad here so I don't need to use this right place the mask over the pot <coughs> and we've got our flower it up and we're going to place this with the stem at the bottom inside the mask I'm going to do it at an angle Put an extra pressure just where the stamp hits the mask. <coughs> Sorry about that. And there we have our flower in a pot. Right next, we're going to use rich raspberry. To do our sentiment, make sure it was the right, right way around. I'm going to have to pull this closer to me, and we're going to pop that just there, which fits lovely. I like that. Now we're going to colour in. I just need to grab my pens. Right, I want pink, 
old olive and rich raspberries like this. It's blackberry bliss, don't want them too. Right, I've got rich raspberry, light and dark. So we'll start with a pot and we'll colour it in in the light. to stay in the lines. That's it. And we'll just colour it all in. Then we get the dark rich raspberry and we Colour in the where it's shaded. And just up thin and just up there. And of course under the rim, very thin line. It's too straight. Don't need it to be straight. Get the light again and we'll go over it again just to blend them in. Now I'm leaving a little gap so it looks like it's been, it's shiny, like that, all the way down and it gives the illusion that it is round, because it is a round pot. Right, uh, old olive and we'll Use a nib end, it's better. The brush end's gone. One thing in the new catalogue is you can't buy these singular anymore. You have to buy light and dark. Which you can see me because I do re-ink my pens, but only you can only re-ink them, re them so many times. And then you have to replace them. Yeah, so you'll end up with, in my case, I'd end up with more darks than I would lights. So I tend to use the lights more. Right, do the bottom of the buds. And we also need dark crumb cake for the stems. I 
that's it. Right, and now I'm going to use, right, this pen actually says pink pirouette, but it's not, it's, I've re-inked it with Blushing Bride because I didn't have any um, re-inker for Pink Pirouette. I got this idea from making a um, 30th birthday card I was asked to make one with a flower pot and I came up with this idea and I thought it looked quite nice right I'm going to use flirty flamingo light for the centers of the flowers Blend these in with the pink. I'm also colouring in the buds. The flirty flamingo. Blend that in a bit. I'm not going right to the top when I recolor these. I'm just taking it out a bit. And then I get Flirty Flamingo Dark and right in the centre of the flower I'm just doing a little dot. Like that. So it looks like there's a centre in the middle. A centre in the middle. Um, I don't know what you call the middle, the bud in the middle. That's my flower cut in, coloured in. Right, now I'm going to get Blushing Bride. And 
and with the splatter dots I am just going to cover the whole card with splatter dots. Like that. That's all I'm doing. And that is my card. So all I've got to do now is stick it all together. And stick some gems on it. I'll just stick that on. I think. And stick the pink on. Raspberry. So much better when it's got a frame. It didn't look much when it was on its own. I'm just sticking this plain white bit inside. So you have somewhere to write your message. And then we'll just pop on some gems. So I'm going to put one there. One there. And one up there. And there is my card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you want to be notified, press the bell icon. And that will notify you of any videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.